Transports are down. Energy is down. This comes after the major indexes lost about 2% across the board last week. Ongoing trade uncertainty. The latest commentary from that Asia summit in Papua New Guinea showcased uh, deep divisions between Washington and Beijing, though that did not stop the Chinese stock market from rallying to a one-month high. In fact, so far in November, stocks in China, emerging markets, have vastly outperformed the S&P 500, though for the year, it's quite the opposite. One factor helping emerging markets, lower oil prices. We are down right now, though it's led to a significant drop in shares of energy producers over the past week. Chevron, ExxonMobil, Anadarko Petroleum. On the topic of technology, market losing some of its tech leadership here. Facebook now trading at a 19-month low, down another 2.5% in early trade. But check out how these tech stocks are trading relative to their average analyst price target. Facebook trading at around $140. Its average price target is $192, suggesting a 38% upside. Wall Street is betting on a 40% jump in Netflix shares from where it's trading today. But as we know, analysts many times get their targets wrong. On the technical side of things, we're watching shares of Netflix uh, getting very close to its depth cross. That's when its 50-day moving average crosses below its 200-day moving average. Facebook and Alphabet already trading in their own depth cross. Guys, also on the front, earnings on deck from Target, Best Buy, and Lowe's later this week. So expect retail to be a bigger part of the discussion here at the New York Stock Exchange.